Man, I'm looking rough. Kind of like your last minute shopper. The holidays are right around the corner. Time is running out. You don't know what to get that special somebody and you don't want to spend too much. So today I'm going to be reviewing some super cheap junk that has the potential to be super awesome. Straight from the depths of Amazon, within the confinement of this box is a mini spy security camera, the perfect gift for a tech savvy individual. Now I remember back in the day when you had to go to the spy store, hidden little cameras were in the hundreds, close to a thousand dollars. But I got this one on Amazon for only $16. So is it gonna be crunk or is it gonna be junk? Let's find out right now. What you gotta focus? Gosh, I really hope this is the product. All right, so let's open it. Here he is. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, that big, huh? Wow. Video, PC cam, take picture, record, motion detecting. All right, that's, I thought it was full HD. Sweet, all right. You know what, let's open it. All right. Oh, that's just a little hard. Oh my goodness, it is small. <laughs> Look at that little peewee. Wow, that's smaller than I actually thought. I actually thought it was gonna be the size of like a GoPro session. But no, that is so tiny. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, for $16, the build quality on that actually feels pretty decent. Like textured plastic feel, like where it's, you know, not like a, a junky plastic, but more of a texture. It's crazy. Okay, so it takes a micro SD card and it said it didn't come with one. I knew that, so I have one on, on standby. Let's see if this even fits in. Oh yeah, it does. Goes in. Comes out easily. Wow, this is actually a pretty decent, not gonna lie. But let's put it to the test and let's find out the image quality. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in here like that. Only $16, it's crazy. Wow. I'm gonna plug it into my computer and hopefully it's gonna charge up. All right, so I just plugged it into the computer. Um, now how do I know when it's charged? Oh, look at instructions. After charging, flashing, red light. Full of red, lights long said charge. So I think it takes 30 minutes to charge. I think that's what they're trying to say. <laughs> Let's let it charge up for 30 minutes and I'll check back in a second. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and the light was blue when I plugged it in and it's still blue. Don't really know what that means. I'm trying to read the instructions. What's up guys, Lucas here. Just vlogging because uh... You know, that's what I do. And, um, oh, the ground is freezing. I think we should jump on the trampoline. Ready for a backflip? Oh! All right. Oh, no. What a day. <laughs> it's still recording. All right, guys, I'm about to head inside, but don't forget to subscribe. Peace, y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Don't leave, I'm not done. I was just joking. Okay, so after spending a gazillion hours with this thing, I finally figured out how to get it to work, at least in the important mode. So I figured out what buttons to press to get it to record a video, just like when you want to record a video, to get it record a video when only motion is detected, and then also to take selfies, to take pictures. I figured that out too. Everything else, like, I don't even, I don't care about really, you know? I just want the mini camera to work when I want it to work. So let me show you how it works. Pay very close attention. Okay, this is gonna be very important if you bought one of these and you're confused. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold down the power button so you got the blue light on, like that, boom. That means it's in standby mode, okay? So from here to get it in motion detecting mode, if you want it to record um, only when it hits a motion, hold it really still and you hold down this M. Just hold it down until it gives, there, there's like a little blinking red in there and now it's on motion detecting mode, okay? You would see a little blinking red. Um, from certain angles, you can't see it going on, but uh, when you're actually holding it, it was there was like a little blinking red in there. I just held it down until I saw that little blinking red. Now, 
the blue light will stay on until, until, watch, ready? I'm gonna move my hand in front of it. Coming up from underneath here. When that light turns off, that means it's recording. Now when I move my hand out of the way and motion stop, it's just gonna keep recording because basically how it works is it just records like a five minute long video once it's activated through motion detection. So now it's just recording a video, recording, recording, recording. Um, so it doesn't matter where I move it or if you know, I'm walking in front of it over here, it's gonna be recording. If I wanna stop it prematurely, if I'm like, oh, I don't want it to go for five minutes, I just hit that M, just tap that M again, watch. And then it goes back to blue. Now, it's not back in uh, motion detecting mode, as you notice, the light doesn't turn off, doesn't start recording, it's back in standby mode, okay? So if I want to um, take a picture now, if I wanna take a picture, all I have to do is uh, I hit this M twice, so I go one, two, and then it turns to red. And when that light turns to red, that means it's in picture mode. Now to take a picture, I push the power button. I just tap it. And then it goes off and on. That means it just took a picture. I think that's the shutter speed too. So it's gonna be a blurry picture if it's moving. So you kinda wanna make sure it's still, okay? So let's take a picture of us, smiles photo, probably blurry as heck. All right, if I wanna get out of that, I just hit the M. And it jumps back to the blue light, okay? So if I wanna take a picture, just tap the M once. No, that's not, yeah, wait, hold up. Important, if I want to um, just take a video, right? Okay, <laughs> what I do is I'm in standby mode and I just hit the power button. All you have to do is hit the power button in standby mode and now it's taking a video. And I hit the power button again and it stops taking that video. Okay, so from the beginning, if I just wanna take a basic video, I hold down the power button until, boop, it turns on, it's in standby mode, it's waiting. Then all I gotta do is just tap the power button, gives it three blinks and now I believe it's recording a 1080p video. Hello, Hello mister. So we can vlog, we can do whatever we want. Tap this once again, writes it, it's done. There you go. Ready for a backflip? Oh. All right, let's check out some of my photos. That's the one we took of the uh, camera when we were in the kitchen. It's uh, another photo. Oh, photos. Here's a selfie. Huh. Wow, quality. Gonna transfer those. Stupid AVI format. Gotta convert these because AVI is a pile of crap. Oh. That actually isn't too bad. I'm actually kind of impressed. Oh, man. If you can figure out how to get it recording, it's actually not bad. I mean, for $16. So it also comes with this. This little, uh, this is like a clip. So there's like this, that. Wow, I could wear this. And clip that on your shirt. Do you see? Like that. That's insane. Crazy part is they also send you this bracket and I was like, wait, does it like slide on there or something without the clip? But no, look at it. It's literally made for this clip to clip on the bracket. See, there's like a groove in there for the clip to groove on. You can like screw this into the wall and then if you want to take it to go, you just pop that off. And then you, when you come back home, you just pop this back in like this. 24 seven surveillance. Yo, I would screw this in, but um, I just got some Gorilla tape here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna tape it. Tape it up there. So to be honest, I don't think the image is actually that wide. Huh? After just doing a few test shots, I don't know what the equivalency is to, but uh, whatever. All right, look at the size of this thing, for real. I mean, it's like literally the size of a quarter. See? So now with all the trouble aside, which is basically just trying to figure out how to get this thing to work in the first place, trying to figure out which buttons to press to get it to record, trying to figure out when it's recording and when it's not, also the super crappy uh, still images it takes. 
and the pretty much potato quality video it takes too. However, the reason I'm saying it's crunk, okay, honestly, it's only $16, free shipping. Yeah, the video quality isn't the best, but it's only $16. It comes with this little clip. It looks cool. It's like a novelty item, honestly. It does what it says, it records video. It even takes pictures. I wouldn't recommend taking a single picture with this thing, but it does record video. Yes, it does, and it's decent. I'd say it's pretty decent video for $16 for how small this thing is. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to get it to work to figure out when it's recording and when it's not, but honestly, at the end of the day, for only $16, it is crunk, okay? Seriously, novelty item. It would make a great stocking stuffer if you just want to have fun with something for like a day and then, you know, basically just like throw it away. So if you want to give something to your kids, assuming they're, you know, past the choking hazard phase, this would make a great stocking stuffer. You know what I'm saying? Something they can, you know, play with for a day woo and then basically just either lose or, you know, break. This is perfect. It's perfect for only 16 bucks. You can even, you could honestly even pass this if you're going to like a party where you don't really know the person that well, or maybe you haven't seen him in a long time, him or her, and you want to get them something and it's, you know, it's really running out of time, grab him one of these, be like, yeah, it's a security cam, but it's also a selfie cam. You know, you see him for the day, they're going to be like, wow, when they open it, that is so cool. You're going to be the highlight of the party and you won't be around for when they actually try it out. So, so with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More reviews coming. I'm thinking I'm going to buy it cheap green laser pointer next but one that's like you know powerful but it's cheap for only like 15 bucks we'll put that to the test um maybe find some other products like that maybe we'll do a, a bundle of them hope you guys enjoyed this video it's pretty crazy thank you guys all so much for watching thanks for sticking around hope you enjoyed it peace y'all have a good one i'll see you in the next video